Gary Keller says we're set to have our second worst year ever. Well, that's concerning. Let's dig in. Gary's an OG in the business, so when he speaks, we ought to listen. After all, he's one of the most successful real estate professionals ever. Now, he did utter that scary phrase, but to be fair, he did share some positive thoughts as well and how to thrive in a down market. Let's unpack all of this with some facts and data. We'll set aside the emotion of it all and focus on the facts that don't have feelings. Let's start with the scary comment first and then dig in. Gary said in an interview with Brad Enman, the second year of the Great Recession, we had the largest drop in one year in recorded history. 1.5 million transactions were taken off the books. Things aren't likely to get quite that bad this year, but thanks to rising rates and increasingly unaffordable homes, among other factors, he did predict a dip of about 1.3 million transactions. From a sheer transaction drop, referring to 2022, this is at least the second worst in terms of speed at which it dropped. That makes for a challenging situation, and Keller directly compared the present moment to the late 70s and early 80s. Whoo, okay. So some scary comments. Let's take a look at our present landscape though. Pending home sales have dropped 35%, which is the largest drop in seven years. Sure, another scary stat, but there is some opportunity for buyers as they are now able to negotiate price and concessions. Not all bad, right? And medium home sale price is still actually up 5% year over year. And that's up from our record years of 2021 and 2022. Facts. Even the asking prices are up 6% still. Now, the stat that no one likes is this one. Home buyer payments are up 48%. Oh, that's a killer. But as the feds would say, that's transitory. And I say that in a joking way, but it really is. Rates will come back down and homeowners will have an opportunity to leverage cheaper money in the future. Finally, to Gary's point about fewer transactions, new listings are down 21% and supply is up to 3.1 months. And as the kids would say, them's the facts. But honestly, guys, it's not all bad news. Perspective matters here. We've shared this stat with you before, but it deserves to be shared again. I traveled and spoke in Utah last week with Chris Driscoll and MGIC, and it was a good, positive event with great people. And Chris opened with the stat we've shared before, which is this. Guys, for most of you watching right now, this is your third best year ever right now in your entire career. Third best year ever yet. We treat it like it's Armageddon. That's crazy to me. And 2023 is setting up to be very similar in terms of volume as well. Context and perspective matter. Here's the NBA forecast and we should finish over 2 trillion in total business next year. Still ranking at the top if you go back and compare that to previous years. Is Gary right about fewer transactions? Yes, but we are comparing that to a global pandemic, Fed printing money, lowest rate ever season. It's an anomaly. Comparing anything to a one-time global pandemic event isn't fair and it will surely skew the perspective and numbers. Team, stop comparing your production to 2021 and 2022. It's an anomaly. Don't beat yourself up over it. You did what you were supposed to do in the time and capitalize on the opportunity and close a ton of transactions. That's what you were supposed to do. Perfect, great. But the opportunity has now shifted and changed and you need to first identify the opportunity and then take advantage of it. And Gary talks about this as well. No matter how tough times are, there's always opportunity. The real opportunity of any disaster or shift is when you come out of it. Right now, the winners will be those who look up and go, okay, we're going to double down on our value proposition. We're going to double down on lead gen. We're going to double down on staying connected to our database, taking stock or taking market share and doubling down are especially important right now. A hundred percent agree. And it's what we've been saying and sharing with you all year, myself, Barry Habib, Todd Duncan, all of the top producers that we've had on this year, all saying the exact same thing. Guys, we can't control the metrics or the market. We can control how we respond to it. You wanna sit and sulk and long for yesteryear, great. Your efforts will yield exactly what you put into the market when the market shifts. Remember, your ROI during the next harvest will yield exactly what you put into the market today. Meaning this, if you're spending time now sulking and taking time off because it's slow, then don't be surprised that the ROI is down massively during the next harvest. 
Does that make sense? Let me say that again, because this is your future or lack thereof if your mind and work ethic is not right right now. Your ROI during the next harvest will yield exactly what you put into the market today. I love you all. Someone needs to hear this today. Go share it with them. Let's get our minds and our work ethic right today, and we'll see you guys next week.